Bye bye. All right, so we have just arrived in Newcastle and today we are visiting our friends at Watch Trader & Co. They are literally just on the corner here, so let's, let's go say hello. There we go. There we go. How are you doing? Stu, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Stu. Just a quick one. If you want to get £5 for free, all you need to do is get one of these curve cards. You can wait to the end of the video to find out more. Hey, Josh. How are you doing? Hey, Harry. Hi, Harry. Hi, Harry. Hi, Harry. Hi, Harry. This is Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How was the trip? It was alright. We came yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too bad to like just under three hours. Look at that. Bit of bling. First thing I'm going to say is, it looks a lot smaller in person than what it does on your yeah, YouTube videos. videos. Do people say that? Yeah. The, yeah. Shop is, the shop's a lot smaller. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It look, like on, on the camera, it looks yeah. so much bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you guys a family business or are you guys mates and you've just created your own? No, yeah, so it's family. 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 Yeah. Are you, is it you two that have kind of... No, there's me, there's me and Jack. He's not here. You might, you might catch him uh, later on. Is he in your videos as well, Jack? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's, the, he's, he's the bigger one. So I know who it is. It's, yeah. it's his business. Okay. It's his business. Josh mainly does a lot of the sales, then we'll have buyers, we'll Got have you. buying guy in the back, then we'll have photography and stuff as well. Sweet. So all, all I've said to, to my viewers is that we're coming to visit you guys today, hopefully look at some really nice watches um, and ask you guys some questions. Is that Crack on. all good? No. Yeah. So have you got any, any things you'd like to show? Anything you want to, any new yeah, things? Yeah, or? some big bits of that. Yeah, we can show you some Richard Mills maybe? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. We like a Richard Mill. We, we both said when we when we arrived, we were like, this is probably one of the best cities in the north. We've done Leeds, York, Manchester. That is the best city in the north, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's well, the best, you know, the best you know. city in the UK, that's what okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. Is this where the big boys are then? Holy oh. shit. Pretty much everything you could want. Very nice. You a Richard Mill fan? I, I am, yes, but it's like so far out of my league that yeah, I can't yeah. even consider yeah. buying a Richard Miller. But, but you're into your watches. Oh, big I've seen time. that you're into your watches. Oh, yeah, big time. On your channel, I've seen some of your videos where you, you're going into official stores and yeah, yeah. Buying, buying a watch. And we, so you, you've got your, your interests there. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. But for me, it's it's more AP Rolex. Okay. I'm not quite at Patek level. I'd love an Aquanor. So, so what's your collection? How's that look like? Right now, it's a Hulk, uh, an AP white dial Rolex. 15,400 and I literally got this two days ago from, it, from an AD. Okay. Um, yeah, we have. We've got the rare set. You've got 41, yeah. Yeah, we've got, is that the 36? This is 36, yeah. yeah. we've got a 36 somewhere. Yeah. For some reason, it, with, with these OPs, I like the 36. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, had a, we had the first uh, Steel and Gold Wimbledon, 36 mil. Oh, nice. And it, was, it sits on the wrist way better than the 41. Yeah, we've yeah, seen yeah. it, we said that as well. I think with the OP, because the bezel's quite thin, the face, yeah. it has a bigger presence, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice. So I, I got this for myself, and, and Nicole got a. Got a date just. <laughs> yeah. So. My yeah. first Rolex, my birthday. Oh, first ever, nice. first ever nice. watch. And this, this is my first watch from an AD. So we, we have, we have the Tiffany and the thirty-one over there. Oh, so. the Tiffany. Hey, you've got it. Forty-one, thirty-six, thirty-six. Yeah. So you've got the RM10 Rose, which is more of like I wouldn't say entry level because it's hundred gram plus, but yeah, yeah, in the sense of that, so it's a lot smaller. If you look at the case size, so oh, it is, isn't it? It's, it's it'll sit on your wrist a lot smaller than something like say. 35 Rafa. People are very surprised how light they are, so. Yeah. So it sits on the wrist really nice. It does actually, it's, yeah. A lot of the rich and mills are very thick. They are big, thick, so they're, they're it's, big it's watches. It's hard to actually wear. Kind of compared like that. compared yeah, to something like that, feel the weight of that. Oh, that's quite cool how the clasp works, isn't it? Yeah, so it's like magnetic. That's it's like really one, cool. one motion. And you feel the weight of that. Ah. <laughs> See, that's really, really light. This is a Rafa, yeah. Yeah, so the NTPT carbon. Wow. No, I don't know how to do this one. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's the same, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's the same. Oh, so sweet. But you see it's a lot thicker. It is, that's it. I didn't realize how chunky RMs were until recently. Shit, yeah, that's chunky watch. What's this one going for? Like closer to like- Yeah, it's up for like 330. 330? Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm drawn to that, you know. Just, yeah, I think just the band. It's, yeah. For summer, it's perfect. Have you had any of the 
the really small RMs, like is it the Johan Blake or yeah, yeah. 67s. Yeah. The 67 the it's like the annual hands it comes yeah. in comes in all different colours, comes in the green, the blue, the black, the pink. So that's the RM eleven. So all RM elevens are discontinued now as well. That's nice. I think just because it's yellow and it's got a bit of colour to it, I, I, I'm drawn to this more than more than the others. Is this your, I guess, most expensive RM that you've got? This one? Uh, no, Rafa. It's the Rafa, is it? Yeah. So that that's rose and titanium. So full rose is more gain. So yeah. The only difference being is just the side case. So that. Oh, I do like this one. That's like low two hundreds. This is low two hundreds. Yeah. I think Richard Mills almost look better with a bright strap. Yeah, rather than the black. I, I think, it's I think on so. The black strap or red so, nice so for for these okay. so for these RMs then, like, do you have people like that are genuine that want to buy these that mm -hmm. come in and will? Yeah, so big collectors pieces. Obviously, it's a yeah. lot of money, so it's like a house. So, I know, that, that's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah, so it's not like just the the random guy off the street will walk in and want to buy it. It's is, mainly is, people that know about their watches and got you. So collectors. Yeah. What about like? Do you have like fo you have footballers coming quite yeah, a bit? Quite a lot, yeah, quite a lot of footballers, a lot of people who want to part exchange, maybe a, a Patek or yeah. a, an AP or whatever. So, so the Aquanaut, that's probably my Grail watch actually. I don't know what the reference number is, but it's it's this with the orange band and the. Yeah, 5168. I think yeah. it's the same reference across all white gold. Oh, is it? That's 5168. Yeah. yeah. So the, all the white gold, I believe, are the same reference, but it's just different last pictures. But the orange is really so nice. That one, oh, sorry, no, it's not. It's, it's not, it's the travel time, the orange travel time. Yeah, the travel time's like ballpark 100. Yeah. yeah. With the orange strap, it's my favorite, one of my favorite I watches. I love it, it's so it's nice. Unreal. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's really nice. It's a lot bigger than the normal Aquanaut as well. It so is, the steel Aquanaut's 40.5, I believe this is 42. So it sits a lot bigger yeah, than- Yeah, big. I didn't realize that actually. The normal Aquanaut. It's very nice. I like the case back on these as well. Yeah, really cool. That's just how they stock them. So they call it like a grenade dial. Yeah, something. they call it the grenade. This one? The white gold, yeah, that's what they call it. <laughs> nah, nice, I like that. I'll show you this, see if I let you. Got a few more things. Oh, 57 11 rows. Never ever tried on. Oh my god, it's so nice. Yeah, you'll like what's in there as well. See, the weight of those compared to the steel. Yeah. It's on a different level, isn't that's it? Absolutely. It, it, the presence on the wrist. That is, a, that is a good looking watch. Really nice watch. Good. That is a. I think it's the best rose gold watch you can get. Yeah. I think just sits on the wrist so nice and it's not too heavy and it's not too light. Like you still feel it on your wrist, but it's not as nice as that one. No, this is the best one. Is that is that yeah. even better? I'd say this is my favourite watch inside the case. Probably the first you'll ever see. Oh okay. <laughs> okay. When did you get this in? Uh a couple of days ago. It's our second one that we've had in stock. Wow. So you might have seen on the Instagram, I had a double sealed one. Yeah, yeah, so. Which we actually cut open. Oh yeah? Upon the customer's request, because he just wanted to wear it. And then this is now the second one. Wow. I think it's- How much How much would you let this go for, this one? Mm. Yeah, around 300. Have you had any interest, or do people not know you've yeah, got this quite, yet? Quite a lot you've of You've got interest. quite a lot. Yeah, we uploaded that on Instagram the day that we got it, I think on Thursday. Yeah. Last Thursday. So when you guys upload on Instagram, is it like within minutes you'll have yeah. like hundreds of like people? Pieces like, pieces like this, like absolutely ridiculous. Wow. Cause obviously it's so hard, I don't think anyone else has got it in the UK. Wanna try that? Yeah, if that's all right. Love so to. You'll, see, you'll see this is a lot chunkier than the 5711 as well. It looks chunky. So obviously you've got all the travel time, but it's got the new class. Which ah, I it's got the, so I it's do got the like that. So they basically copied AP with that kind yeah. of, what I say they copied, but. So pretty much. Is it? This side. It's a lot easier because with, with the older class, you feel like you're pulling it off your wrist. You do, don't you? Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. going to ruin the watch. Well, that's a hefty but piece. you see how much heavier it is and chunkier. Yeah. You really feel like it's on your wrist. It's absolutely crazy. That's a heavy hitter. That is a, that is a big watch. So you've got an aftermarket watch on your wrist. Yeah, so this is a... Is that also something that you guys... Yeah, we, we have not massively focus on as such that you might see jewelers in London. Yes. Um, obviously we ship worldwide anyway. Yeah, fair enough. we ship worldwide anyway, so the market up here is not massive for these. Obviously, oh, you ship worldwide? Yeah, worldwide and obviously everyone comes up from down south, Manchester, only yeah, two and a half yeah. hours, Leeds, places like Attract. that. Yeah, it might not fit you. Is, is this your watch or? No, no, just stock, it's yeah. stock. So it's Datus 41 with a honeycomb diamond setting. We probably have about five in stock. Nice. But we can always um, 
send it to our workshop so if someone comes in with their plane 41 yeah. mil yeah. we can get it set for them okay so price dependent so now in, including this watching the video is going to trigger so many people <laughs> and i'm guessing you guys have had yeah, it before yeah all the time all the time people seem to hate aftermarket diamond watches but well, what i say is like if if people want the watch you're just supplying a demand exactly it's exactly. but people say like you, you're ruining you're the ruined. watch and all this yeah. kind of stuff but, but it's, it's, if it's people a want customer's it. watch it's like someone wrapping the car a crazy color if that's what they ask for if like, that's what they want like, they can do it exactly right and what do you think about rms then do you think they're gonna hold their value do you think they're gonna drop at some I think point so, yeah so it's just everyone's talking about the big bubble about rolex as well but mm. they've been saying this for the past two three years is the bubble gonna stop or yeah. pop but you never know. Never know. But it's really strong at the minute. Every everything's really strong at the minute. Yeah. All watch markets, Rolex, AP, Patek, everything. Yeah. So I can't say it's slowing down anytime soon, but no. It's a platinum Arabic, Arabic dial. Yeah. Did it forty. I like it. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, crazy. Because obviously everyone you see now are doing like the custom date. Just well, that's an Arabic dial, custom dial. Yeah. But they're doing the date with the same the platinum. Yeah. Set, yeah, the platinum blue face. This is going to be heavy. Oh my god. Yeah, so you feel the weight off it. Is, so is platinum the heaviest precious metal yeah. that Rolex. Mm -hmm. or, I guess platinum any. will always be smooth bezel as well. So that's one way you can kind of distinguish it True. between white gold and yeah, yeah, yeah. platinum. That's nice. See, this looks brand new. Yeah. I'm guessing it is. No, this is just, be, it's actually a client's watch, so we've just got it refurbished. Fair. So he's had it for a couple of years. I hope he doesn't mind me wearing it. No, he doesn't mind. It's a good friend, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's a really nice watch. I story yesterday, a guy bought eleven. The the obviously it's clever salesmanship. Yeah. And it was a it was a it was a lady saleswoman. She made him buy eleven day just mixed metals eleven and steel to buy a um a yellow gold Daytona green dial. A yellow gold. Oh, only fair. Fair enough. He's, he's, he's so offset he's, his profit with the buying the eleven. So eleven yeah. eleven day just to buy one. That's mad though, isn't it? How's things for you anyway? You guys are you doing well at the moment? Yeah, so we've just we've just launched um, our first e-commerce website, so watchtrader.co.uk. There you go. So jump on. Float. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll have a lot of stock here, so people want to come and they want to view because there's not many places where you can come and see so many watches. Yeah. Right? Where can you see? Like, this is just one box, like Oyster Flexes. We'll probably have maybe four or five in the displays plus in the back. So there's two chocolates. There's two Sky Dollars. There's, there's not many places where you can see. Things like that, and I've that's. Seen, I've never seen this before either. Yeah, so this is the discontinued. Love that. Yeah. yeah so this is a, a really good watch. So that's like ballpark forty k, green GMT. I remember not too long ago, I remember seeing this on. It was on Watch Finder, and I'm I'm sure it was on for like sixteen k. Oh, it would have been. Yeah. Would have been. It might have been like four or five years ago. I think three years ago we were selling them for like brand new, like twenty something k. <sighs> Makes me sick, honestly. That's absolutely crazy. Different color green as well, to obviously. Yeah. Do you, it's prefer, do you prefer like gold with, with steel or do you prefer like more so gold? I think just steel pieces are. I think I prefer steel. I've had a, a yellow gold day date in yeah. the past. Thirty six. Thirty six. Recently got rid of my Daytona, which was steel yellow gold. Um, sold it to Trotters. What would you have bought that from me? For? Oh, yeah, for? Was it was twenty nineteen. Fifteen or sixteen grand. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> no, you know you. you no, we would. No, you wouldn't. Fifteen to sixteen. It wasn't. Wasn't brand new. Yeah, but listen. There's, there's no other. There's no other place to go. We pay the best in the UK. So don't say you've if, you've if you've left. If you've left. If you've left money behind, it's not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> we only work on. Yeah. We only work on small margins. Josh, Josh has got a small wage, so we don't have much wages yeah, to pay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, I, I, I'm sure I sold it before for 14k, which makes me really sad that yeah. you're saying that. Ballpark around 15ish. Yeah, that's 15. the What do you think the next watch will be that will absolutely, you know, take off? It's probably maybe the 57, 57 11 green yeah. with the diamond. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. I can show you a couple of things. We'll see if we can cover up some serial numbers, but I can yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a fifty-two seventy-one. Whoa. Patek. So, what are you just going to keep hold of it? No, it's for sale. Oh, is it for sale? Wow. Yeah. I saw um, a talking watches one with John Mayer, and he was wearing. I can't remember the reference of it. But he was wearing a dress Patek, and it had baguette diamonds around the outside. Yeah. And that was this, it, it. This might actually be the watch. Fifty-two seventy-one P. It could be. Platinum. Yes, I think it was that. Okay. 
just watch just it. Cover yeah, it's interesting over time how your taste in watches just yeah, completely exactly. changes. I would never like that, probably like a year ago. Mm. But now I, I think that's unbelievable. Look at the back. All the mechanics of it. Crazy. Yeah, cracking watch. So what other OPs do you have then? Do you have, uh, you have the green? Yeah, so the green 36, the Tiffany 31, yeah. the coral red 41. I don't know if you've seen that in Perth. Oh, we have yellow one. We're dog. We've never had a yellow. I like the yellow. I like the yellow. We've never had a yellow. The pink and the yeah. yellow. For some oh, we've got candy pink. pink. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I actually like that. Weirdly. I, I'd wear this. Forget about you. Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd wear this. I genuinely would. If I could. How much are you selling it for? Um, I think it's up for nine five. That's all right. Do yeah. a deal on it if you want to take it. To the oh, really? How much is yeah. this price? This price is like 4300 is it? Same then that's 4450. 4450, it's exactly the same. So how much is green go for? Green 36, yeah. I think we're selling ours for 7750. Oh yeah. That's cheaper than anywhere in London. So three grand on top ish. Yeah, pretty much. They're selling this. You're getting, you're getting a watch for two both well, of you at the same this time for the price of one, didn't know it's two and one. Yeah, I've been in a place where they're selling it for eleven. Eleven? Yeah. Wow. How do you how do you guys set your prices? So anything can be bought on a click of a button now yeah, because you've got a watch true. trader. Call yeah, it. do it, do it. <laughs> Buy this watch. Uh, how do we price the watches? So obviously you just look mainly we we know the market price, but mainly like four hundred twenty four places like that. Yeah, so when I when a customer or potential customer walks in and they see this do you have to ask them as soon as they walk in do you mind being on camera yeah that's the first thing harry says yeah line. yeah um if they say no i've seen you blurred their face yeah blur their face or i'll just use you know one angle where you can't see them yeah yeah, yeah. which is yeah. which is fair enough because you know it's either yeah protecting their relationships yeah, yeah. that's not so coming from the ad is what i remember so that's a good point there's, there's that and that's also like some people you know they don't want Maybe to broadcast that they're buying a very expensive piece That's or something, it. you know. They'll be a target, yeah. won't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they'll we'll do a target. Awesome. Take care. Thanks yeah. for coming we'll down. See you soon. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. Good to nice see you. Nice to meet you. Thanks, guys. Bye -bye. See you soon. See you soon, Josh. Bye. Bye. I think just that. There we go. So that was a really nice experience. Um, those guys are really nice. Really, really nice guys. Um, Hopefully I will see them again soon. They did say that they're gonna to come to London soon, so you may be seeing them soon. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please, please give this video a like. Subscribe if you want more of this kind of stuff. And I'll see you very soon, bye-bye. Well, I'm glad you actually waited to the end of the video. Thank you so much. Yeah, like I said, you can get five pounds for free. There's absolutely no catch. All you need to do is click the link that is right there and you will get five pounds. All you've got to do is sign up. You'll get this, you'll get your own card in like two, three days. And as soon as you start using it, you'll get your five pounds and you can spend it on whatever you like. But I know what you're thinking, why would I even bother getting one of these cards? Well, there's loads of benefits. You can get cash back, you can get points. And the Curve app will basically allow you to manage your finances so much better. So if you like to spend money, you need to use it. Also, if you struggle with spending money as well, use it. It's great for finance management, I promise. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.